Food prices are up in many countries around the world. High commodity prices and low stocks of staples such as corn and soybeans could contribute to an increase in food prices domestically. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Economic Research Service estimated that food prices will rise between 2 and 3 percent this year. But an LSU Ag Center economist thinks that increase could be higher. If I had to guess, I would expect that to go up a little bit uh, because we're seeing uh, even a larger increase in, in fuel and, and energy prices and, and maybe even a little bit larger increase in commodity prices than we originally thought. Gidry says food prices generally increase 1 to 2 percent each year. So the increase in prices won't hit as hard here as they have abroad. Still, planning before you visit the grocery store can keep the increases from affecting your wallet. Plan your meals around seasonal fruits and vegetables, meats that are on sale. Make a list, and when you go to the store, stick with it. Tips such as shopping alone, not shopping when hungry, checking ads and clipping coupons can keep your grocery bill down. To keep your overall food bill down, Tucker says stick to the grocery store instead of restaurants. You can save a lot more by cooking at home rather than eating out. Eating out is a very high cost item and consumers don't realize how much they're spent, what portion of their food dollar is going to food eaten away from home. Foods that could see the biggest price increases include beef and pork and cereal and bakery products. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.